Well, meet. I guess that's that. Episode two finished, recorded. Now I just have to uh, wait for the viewers to tell me what to uh, tell me what I need to do next. You know, just gotta wait. Nothing else to do. Gotta wait for their feedback. You know, I don't know whether they want to watch me fix up the house or whether they want to watch me go on an adventure. So, just uh, just gonna wait. Yep. Yeah, just, uh, just gotta wait. Just gotta, uh, deal with the, uh, the house that I built here. Just gotta wait and see what people want to see next. You know, what can I do? I don't have a choice. I asked for feedback, now I gotta wait for it. Yeah, the episode's not even released yet. It'll probably be a few days before I gather some feedback and know whether I'm gonna work on the house or go on an adventure or... Wait. Wait a second. They're not the boss of me. I don't have to wait if I don't want to. I don't want to live in this shack anymore. This is awful. I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna fix it up and, and if they want to watch me go on an adventure, well, they can just wait. I'm the boss here. Me. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Uh, I have just, just finished uploading episode two of the series, previous episode before this one. Uh, the video is not even released yet. And I've realized I don't want to wait to see what people's comments say they want me to do next. I'm gonna definitely fix up the house, and I'm gonna definitely go on an adventure soon. Maybe I'll do a little bit of both in this episode, but I truly just can't, I can't look at this anymore. I want to, I, I want to fix it up. I, I might even just tear the whole thing apart. And, s and start over.
Ugh. Oh, that is more like it, my friends. Uh, as you saw in that little, little time-lapse thing there, I have pretty much rebuilt the entire house from scratch. Uh, it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. It was only between one and two hours, I guess. I condensed down to about five minutes, I think. Uh, so just to give you a more careful view, I've, I've used the chisel a little bit here to give some some soil top to some of the wood. Uh, I just used some rough hewn fences for this. It doesn't line up perfectly. If you look out here, it kind of sticks out a little bit, but you only really notice that if you look really, really closely. So I'm fine with that for now, for my little windows. Inside we have a lot more room. We have the, the chest better organized. We have a proper roof and everything like that. Meep is chilling in the corner. Wah! Good boy. Uh, I got my beds. I've, I've made a... A full actual cellar that I can now come down to. My food is down here. How am I doing on food? I am low on food. It's gonna be relevant in a moment. I'm gonna want to take another serving. Uh, so yeah, we've got just uh, all the all the blocks here, all the stuff that we we've accumulated over the course of this. There we go. Uh, I did make a little bit of a mine. I got my first chalk stones and I got some granite. Partly so that I could make this uh, quern right here, which I will be able to use to make the uh, the lime, the, the ground up lime for plaster, as well as flour for bread and stuff like that. I put all of the smithing metalworking stuff over here for now. There's my ores. Uh, I built this little this little uh, this little oven. It's a little bit rough, but uh, I made it pretty quickly. I thought that would be nice, just to have a. Like a little outdoor fireplace, it's got a little roof on it so the rain doesn't put it out. Uh, you may have also caught a moment where a, a wolf ran past here chasing a hare. Scared the life out of me, but fortunately it was it was distracted by the hare, so it didn't bother me. Uh, put in some paths, just kind of clean up this whole area. Up there, most stuff has been moved down. Uh, I also, these two just sort of wandered into this area. And one of the things I want to make in this game is cheese. And let me tell you, friends, cheese is not super easy to make now. Um, you have to breed the animals to, I believe, second generation before you can reliably milk them. So I could try to milk this sheep, but I will almost certainly not get anything. And if I get anything, it won't be enough to make cheese. Uh, so I need to get this sheep pregnant, which, is, as you see at the top, is several days left before ready to mate, so I can't do that yet. Uh, so I'll put in some, some troughs with some grass in there, keep keep them fed. Uh, she will need to eat, I think, 10 portions of food after she's ready to mate, so it's gonna be a little while. And then they're pregnant for like a year or something crazy. It takes forever for them to have their babies. Then it takes the babies forever to grow up. And then I gotta breed another generation. So this is just the very start. And I'm really glad they wandered over here because this is something uh, it'd be useful to have as early as possible. Uh, the path leads down here. I haven't fixed up this area yet. Salt. Salt is almost ready. My first salt. I put all the seeds down here in this basket. And, uh, this farm... These are ready to be harvested. I'm gonna leave them for now. This this was a mistake. I don't know why I planted this this seed on the low fertility soil. That's that's no good. That's not gonna work very well for me at all. It's gonna take ages to grow. Uh, but eventually I will be taking this Terra Preta. Uh, I'll, I'll let it, um, sit fallow for long enough to rebuild its nutrients before I move it. And then we'll, we'll build a proper farm. That'll be the next thing. So, um, rebuilding done. Managed to do that pretty quickly. Let me just peek up here. I'm trying to remember what I still have up here. It still has some tools that need to be moved down. This little patch of rice is still still growing nice and slow. There is actually water under this log, so it is it is fertile, uh, moist. Moist. Um, grab another bowl and take another portion of the food. Oh, my berry bushes. My berry bushes. I've been here for ages. They got berries. Um... I will eventually make a way to, like, come up on top of the hill, and I might put something useful up on top of the hill for now, but for now, uh, this is home now. This is home. It's much more convenient than it was before, so I'm pretty happy with it. I actually really like... And, uh, eventually the, the doors will be double wide, and they'll have this sort of circle around them that the Hobbit doors always have, the round doors. Uh, but right now, I just had the one door, so we just had that little faux... It almost looks like two, like, question marks facing each other. You shush, wolves. I'm not worried about you. Uh, because I have set the game to make you not dangerous. So, why am I concerned about food? Well, the other thing that I said I was going to try and do in this episode is go on a little adventure. So we're going to go on a little adventure. Going to explore, try to find some uh, bauxite stone. And maybe some acacia would be really nice to have. So I'm going to take some packed dirt, 
just so that I can have that on my hotbar in case I need to pillar. Keep that to make low, more, more, keep that to make low. I'm reading the word as I look at it. I keep that to make more packed soil if I need it. I can throw it away if I don't need it. Um, I might leave the sticks. Oh, I've got plenty of sticks here, all right. So I've got a couple things of food. I'll probably abandon one of these bowls. So we've got uh, a flint spear, which I probably won't need, because again, this is a building world and it's not very dangerous. Take an axe. Oh, that axe is getting a bit low as well. I do I do have another axe head available. Take the, the pickaxe, also getting low. Man, I've been busy. I've been busy, friends. Well, I'll only need the axe to collect acacia saplings if I find them, so that's probably fine. Uh, shovel's in good shape. The copper pickaxe, if I find ore, I'm probably gonna want to grab it, but maybe I'll just mark it because I don't have much inventory yet. I don't really have any flax, right? What have I got? I've got two pieces of flax. So to make the next level of inventory, I need a lot of flax fiber. So I need to plant flax seeds. So I need more terra preta, for sure. I need to build a proper farm and uh, get lots of flax. So I don't have a lot of inventory space. I was thinking that I would uh, take a, a basket or something, pick it up and put it on my back, but it looks like you can't do that anymore. It used to be with the uh, carry carry capacity mod by Copy Girl, one of my favorite mods in the whole world. Uh, thank, big thank you to Copy Girl for making that. You can pick stuff up, move it around, it slows you down. You used to be able to also put it on your back by, by shift crouching at the air again, but it looks like you're not allowed to do that anymore. Can't carry chest. I don't know if, if my mod is out of date or if that's been removed intentionally or what the deal is. Uh, but I do not have the ability to take an extra thing of storage the way I could before. Also, I still only got a torch. Do I have? I don't have any animal fat yet, do I? I don't. So I can't make a, um, a, uh, oil lamp, which would, uh, be really useful. Because it wouldn't go out if I go underwater. So I'm gonna probably only carry the torch in my hand as needed. And I'll just take, I don't want to take my aged wooden bed. I don't want to lose that in case I die or whatever, so we'll just take that one. Uh, which one of these has... This, one, this one's a smaller one. If I can use this up before I go... There we go. I'll just leave that there. Free up an inventory slot. Okay. So I think we're ready to go, and I'm gonna head south, because I need to go to a warmer climate if I want to find uh, the acacia and the... Uh, well, I think the bauxite can be anywhere, but the acacia will be south for sure. Quite a ways south, probably. I think about 3,000 blocks from this kind of start. I said shush! These wolves, I'm telling you. There's a desert over here where I'll be able to get plenty of sand and stuff when I need that. Right now, I just want to make a beeline south as much as possible and uh, see what we find. And we're going to have a little adventure. Wish me luck, folks. is nice. Dang it. Abandoned.
Keisha! Ah, here we are. Home sweet home at last. My, uh, my trip was only partially successful, my friends. So, here's, here's what I got on this trip. Basically, I got a lot of seeds. I got a single K-Pox sapling and a single acacia sapling. So the acacia sapling was just real lucky. I found a, uh, an acacia bush growing out in an area. There were no trees, but there was one bush. And I got the one sapling and I couldn't find any more. Hopefully, I will get another sapling or more from this tree when it grows. However, the K-Pok, I might not have so much luck with. The drop rate for K-Pok saplings is really, really low because the trees are huge. So it could be that I'll plant this tree, it'll grow, and I won't get any saplings from it and I'll have to go get more. But that's fine. We'll deal with that after. Um, let's bring the seeds down here. So I realized on this little trip, obviously, I did not find the bauxite that I had hoped for. And I realized that I have two... Problems. Count them two. Exactly two problems. Get these seeds in here. Yes, they all fit. Uh, problem number one. Oh, my trees have grown. Where am I gonna plant these ones? This is my new problem. Where am I gonna plant these seeds? Put that one there. k gonna need a lot of space. I don't really have a lot of space. I'll just stick it over here. Okay. Uh, problem number one is my inventory just keeps filling up. Um, I, I can't be taking trips like this until I have at least four linen sacks, I think. Because uh, I did manage to find one good building material, which was the peridotite rocks, but I didn't even bring any back with me because I just didn't have the space. I did find this uh, considerate, which is great. Throw this in here, we can make some, uh, some bronze, which is good. Uh, found a little bit of the terra preta, which is great. Found some bony soil, which is really useful. You can sift this now for all kinds of uh, useful things. Um, but I didn't find what I had hoped to find, which was, I'll go, go have a proper meal, actually. Ugh, give me this. Uh, bauxite. No bauxite yet. It's gonna, oh my goodness, hello. Oof. It's really not that much of a threat, but that just scare, scared the poop out of me. <laughs> Are you hiding? Are you trying to hide from me? I only have a flint spear, which is not doing a lot of damage. I, I do have this set to... Uh, passive mode. So this guy really should have attacked me, but I think his pathing got messed up by being in the corner there. Anyway, once I have some lamps, I'll put one down there. Stop the drifters from spawning in my dang basement. Um, okay. Sort, sort inventory while I talk. Um, but yeah, even if I even if I found the bauxite that I had hoped for, I mean, what am I what am I gonna do with it, right? What am I gonna do with bauxite? Uh, I, I didn't have the space to take any significant amount of it home with me. So, uh, before I go out looking for more building materials, I think I do need to make- my very next priority needs to be make a- make a proper farm. Make a proper farm, prioritize flax over everything else, and, uh, that will probably be the focus of the next episode, or at least part of the next episode, is just getting a proper farm built. Maybe he's trying to decorate it a little bit, get a little bit decorated, uh, but we definitely need a, a farm. Also, I definitely need to get some animal fat and make some uh, oil lamps. At least one, at least one oil lamp so that I can 
have a light source that won't go out if I go underwater. I was real nervous about carrying my torch on this little trip. I think those carrots are actually grown. Let me just check that. Oh, they are. No! Dang it! Got this. It's okay. Everything's fine. That can just stay down there. Boop. Okay. I now have two carrots. Very important update. I now have two carrots. So that's problem number one. Problem number one, inventory space. Uh, I need I need inventory before I go on any more exploration trips. Problem number two. I seem to have a serious issue on this map in this world specifically with north and south. I, it, you probably noticed when I set out on my trip, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go south, and then I went this way. This way's north, my friends. This way's not south, this way's north. And then I, I went to sleep in the first night, and then uh, and when I woke up, I immediately set out north again, thinking it was south. I don't normally have this problem, folks. I don't. Normally, I'm actually, I've built quite a reputation for myself as be having a very good sense of direction in Vintage Story. I've done entire challenge series where I turned off the map and didn't let myself use the map at all, just to prove uh, that I could, you know, I, I could navigate without any knowledge of whether I was going north and south and all that. Uh, not in this world. Somehow when I first started this world, I managed to get turned around right away, and it, like, I just sort of, it rooted itself in my mind that this way is north and this way is south, which of course, the opposite is true. I need to, I need to get over this. I need to fix this because I keep getting turned around now as a result of that. All right, folks, I think, uh, I think that's probably it for today. It's just, oh, it's been a long, long journey. There we go. We'll just have a seat in front of the house, just relax a little bit. Um, thank you all so much for coming with me on this journey today. Next time, hopefully we'll get a proper farm up and running. It's a proper, uh, some proper flax farming going. Upgrade my, uh, inventory so that I can go and get building materials the way I need them. Um, and if there's anything else that you would like to see me do, like to see me prioritize, please let me know. Leave a comment. I want to hear what you would like to see. I don't promise I'll do everything you ask me to do, but I am curious what people would like to see and I will consider... Everything, I read all the comments and I try to respond to most of them. So that's it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!